Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the sanctuary houses. I'm sure you've noticed the gaping holes in the ceiling, the holes in the walls, and uh, they're just horrible. And they don't even have opening and closing doors. And you can't add these things, you can't fix these things with uh, the regular game uh, build menu. So I'm going to be showing you how to fix them using the rug glitch, which I'm sure some of you might have heard of. So first you want to get a piece of wood flooring and you're going to want to put it in a flat area. Uh, it doesn't have to be one of these foundation areas, but these are the most convenient areas to use. So then you'll want to get a wall, a flat wall, and put it on the edge. And then you're going to want to attach the shack, um, upper shack floors to this. And basically just um, cover the entire foundation area just put a ceiling over the whole thing because most of the sanctuary houses are generally around the same size so you can actually use these foundations as a way to measure how big the ceiling should be And if it has a garage, I like to extend it out just a little bit over the edge of the foundation so that it can cover the garage. And actually the smaller shack floors uh, work better, I think. So we're going to use a smaller one. Now this is completely optional, if you want to, you can put a second layer of wood floor on top. So they just make it a little bit more um, watertight, um, not as much light will get through because even with the, the shack floor, the upper shack floor, some light still gets through. Now I'm rotating this so that it's easier to match up so that the, the boards are going the other direction and I can match it up better. The reason I'm putting it in the middle instead of lining it up with the edge is because you can't line it up with the edge. Um, it'll snap to the edge instead. So if you put it in the middle, then you can snap the rest of the wood around it. See, see how it did that? It went out and snapped off, off the corner there. So putting it in the center first and then snapping the rest of the pieces to the center pieces is the slickest way to do it. So now we've got a really nice tight ceiling. Hardly any light gets in. Definitely no rain is gonna get in. So you can go ahead and remove the ladder. Now you're gonna wanna make sure you know where exactly you're putting uh, this. You gotta pick a nice clean corner that doesn't have a big mound of debris in it. No furniture should be there. So any corner of the house will, will work. So just pick one. So then you're gonna wanna get a rug and I usually just use the first rug on the list, the welcome mat, because it's the first one, easiest to get to. You can use any rug, actually, but these little ones work pretty good for this purpose. So now if you hold X on the controller while you're selecting the rug, you'll actually select the entire structure. Um, it's X on the PS4. I'm not sure what it is on other platforms, so it's the activate button or how you select things. So you're using the, the clipping of the rug instead of of the wall. So the wall will go straight into the other wall. Look at that, beautiful. 
No rain's going to get in this. All the way through the whole house. All the holes are plugged. However, it does cover the window up. So if you don't like that, um, you can put it in a different corner. So yeah, make sure when you're when you're trying to figure out where to put it, make sure that the wall that you use to build the ceiling on isn't plugging up a window if you don't want it to. Um, you might want it to, so if that's the case, then cool. So I didn't want it plugging up the window, so I'm moving it down one section so that I can put it in the other corner. and actually um, needed to move that over so that I could use it sort of as a ruler, a guide to lining it up with uh, the wall in the house. So select the entire structure. And carefully place it in. Now this time it's going to plug up that hole that's next to the window, which is what I wanted. There we go. And obviously this the roof from the outside still looks horrible, but there's not really anything you can do about that. See it's covering up the the garage area. It actually sticks out a little further. And then once you have it in place the way you want it, you can remove the rug and the floor piece and uh now it's in there. So make sure you don't remove the floor piece until you're absolutely happy with how it fits. Because you won't be able to take the ceiling out once you remove the floor piece. Now I'm going to show you how to plug up the holes in the walls. And it's the same principle. It's just actually a little bit easier. So as you can see, there are holes on the outside. There's holes on the inside. So there's no privacy between bedrooms or a bedroom and bathroom as this case is. So it's the same idea with using the rug glitch. So you're gonna wanna pick one of the flat walls again. I personally like to use the wood wall because then it makes it look like you just boarded up the hole. But you can use the uh, that first flat wall, the same one we used. You can use either of the flat walls. Only the flat walls will work. So just place the rug. It doesn't have to be touching. It's actually better if it doesn't touch the wall. You can still select the entire structure, even if it's not touching. It might take a little bit of work to get it in there just right. But uh, once you have it the way you want it, there you go. See, it look, kind of looks like it's boarded up. You can remove the rug. Now, the, um, the holes that are there under the window, I don't want to plug up the entire window. Um, you can if you want to, but I like to look out my windows, see what's going on. So if you don't want to plug up the entire window, but you do want to plug up the hole underneath it, um, I use the wood railing pieces, the solid one. Because they're shorter. Same thing with the rug. It's a little taller than the windowsill, but I, I didn't mind.
Now it's not wide enough to cover the whole the whole wall, the whole the whole hole. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put another one down. And you can do this, yeah, with, like I said, you can do this with any hole in any wall in any of the houses in Sanctuary. You can use the different, like, you can use the half-sized wall pieces if you want to for smaller, uh, narrower holes, skinnier holes. You know, you, you just experiment. You can, you can use, just experiment with whatever tickles your fancy so now sometimes it's a little finicky and you have to kind of just work with it a little bit just keep trying until it works sometimes you might even have to redo it um, cancel it and reselect the the wall and redo it but it usually ends up working there we go the wall is plugged and you can do it with any of these these walls these holes now I'm going to show you how to put a door on the sanctuary houses. So you want to pick the door wall piece and face it away from you. And then we're going to you're going to want to add the door first. If you add if you put the wall in without adding the door, the door won't go on. So make sure you add the door first. Get the rug once again, select the entire structure by holding X or the equivalent of X. Now you're going to want to go inside to do this because of the porch. If you don't, if you try to do it from the outside, it won't work as easily because of the, the steps and the rug won't be on a flat surface. So now you can't pull it all the way in and put it where the original door was because the, it will clip out through the wall there. So you're going to want to stick it out on the edge of the porch but it still plugs up the hole all the way. And as you can see, it's pretty nice. It looks uh, pretty good. So that was my tutorial on how to fix the sanctuary houses. I hope this was helpful. If you learned something new, please give this video a like. And I'm planning on making uh, more videos, uh, tips and tricks uh, for settlement building and for just Fallout tips and tricks in general. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys later.